let's take a look at distance training and development. Distance learning is used by geographically dispersed organizations to provide information about new products, policies, procedures, as well as to deliver skills training and expert lectures to field locations. Distance learning can include virtual classrooms, which have the following capabilities. Projection of images, instructor participant audio discussion, sharing of applications, interaction using instant messages, polling technology, and whiteboard marking tools. Distance learning features two-way communications between people and it currently involves two types of technology. Teleconferencing refers to synchronous exchange of audio, video, and or text between two or more individuals or groups at two or more locations. Trainees attend training programs in training facilities in which they can communicate with trainers who are at another location and other trainees using the telephone or a personal computer. The second type of distance learning also includes individualized, personal computer-based training. Employees participate in training anywhere they have access to a personal computer. This type of distance learning may involve multimedia training methods such as web-based training. Teleconferencing usually includes a telephone link so that trainees viewing the presentation can call in questions and comments to the trainer. A virtual classroom refers to using a computer and internet to distribute instructor-led training to geographically dispersed employees. The potential advantages of the virtual classroom include its cost savings and convenience. Geographically dispersed employees can be brought together for training for several hours each week, and content experts can be brought into the classroom as needed. There are a number of guidelines for developing effective training in the virtual classroom. Design short modules and follow up with an assignment that applies the learning to the job. Make learning interactive and interesting, such as modeling the program after a phone-in radio show. Include media such as video and audio. Limit classroom size to no more than 25 learners. Offer learners multiple ways of interacting with each other and the instructor, including webinars, emails, discussion rooms, message boards, and blogs. Interactive distance learning, referred to as IDL, refers to the latest generation of distance learning, which uses satellite technology to broadcast programs to different locations and allows trainees to respond to questions posed during the training program. An advantage of distance learning is that the company can save on travel costs. It also allows geographically dispersed sites to receive training from experts who would not otherwise be available to visit the location. Webcasting or web conferencing involves instruction that is provided online through live broadcasts. A high degree of interaction among trainees or between trainees and the trainer is a positive learning feature that is missing from distance learning programs that use technology only to broadcast a lecture to dispersed employees. To engage trainees in a distance learning environment, it's useful to limit online sessions to 60 to 90 minutes in length. A group spokesperson can be assigned to summarize and communicate a group's ideas. Weather conditions and satellite glitches can occur at any time, disconnecting the instructor from the audience or making it difficult to show video or other multimedia presentations. Instructors need backup plans for dealing with technical issues. Because many instructors have difficulty speaking to trainees in another location without a live group of trainees in front of them, it's important to prepare instructors for distance delivery.